I think some some drag queens actually deserve the bad press, really. Not not to name any names. I think it's um it's far too easy for somebody to go, oh, I'm I'm just going to stick on a wig and shout and swear a lot at people. I'm an instant drag queen. It, it, it takes more than that. I don't want to fuck. No, um, I don't know any straight drag queens. I don't really know why. What possess a straight man to do it, to be honest with you. But, um. No, no, I've never heard of a straight drag queen. But I heard they are, they are out there. I don't know, I feel sorry for their wives. They must have to have two bathrooms in their houses. All about mirror time. No, there are a lot of, um, preconceptions about, you know, being a man dressing as a woman for a living. A lot of people have a lot of preconceived ideas that it's like a sexual thing or that I want to be a woman. Um, none of the above. It is purely for entertainment and it's just because I enjoy doing makeup and I just love it really. It's just lovely to put it on and lovely to be on stage but then it's also really really nice to take it off at the end of the night as well. Take off your tits, put them in the box and go home. Um, my, my ex-boyfriend really struggled with what I did for a living. He really just couldn't get his head around it. But luckily, my, the part I would know is really supportive, which goes a long way, really. It's helped, he's really helped me to well, give me a kick up the arse to actually like, go forward steam ahead with my career, which I think you need a good support network of people around you. For want of a better word, hairspray makes the makeup stick like shit to a blanket. I can go swimming in this and it doesn't come off. Which is good, because it tends to get a bit sweaty under the lights. Mm. That's funny, people always go on about, oh I love your eye makeup, it's not actually the eye makeup that takes the time, it's like the foundation because you have to alter your face shape. Obviously men and women have different shaped faces. I've thin up my nose, cheekbones go higher, thin out the back of my face, make my forehead more rounded, shorten my nose. Obviously give myself a bit of cleavage. It's all just light and shade. Tights? Boobs. Tits. I'll bring him up a pair in a sec. Does he need to be on the bar now? He doesn't need to be on the bar, but he just been... I will, I will do it. Exactly. bruise it. Um, oh, sorry. Can um, you tell him to give me like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll run some up? Okay. Cool. In that he's got everything he's nearly dressed. Does he need a bra? Yeah, Do we need a bra? Yeah. Oh, he's he's should have two pairs of tights on. Oh, <laughs> I should have had two pairs on to come on. You're alright, it's low level night. You're a man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> No, I get to, I get quite weird presents bought for me actually. I've had um, this was given to me. A little oh, right. bracelet with my name on it. Um, one guy gave me a watch whilst he was dressed as Michael Jackson. That was a quite bizarre evening. Um, that makeup, that mirror, that was a present from some guy who came to see my show. I got a pair of Ben Delisi sunglasses one night. Wow. Yeah, it's really sweet actually. Who is the card for? Um, a guy called Eddie, he always comes to watch my show and he bought me a bottle of vodka as well for my birthday. He knows how to keep his auntie Sheila happy. <laughs> keep her happy by keeping her unconscious. If I could sum up what drag meant to me in a sentence, um... Oh god, that's a tricky one. What does drag mean to me? Well... Drag is my world, really, I suppose. You know, I obviously rely on it for money, and sort of got a bit of an unhealthy obsession with it, really. Spend 90% of sleep time and 100% of awake time thinking about it. 
But I think with any career, whether it be drag or whatever, I think if it's going to be something you're going to do, you need to be that committed to it, really. It's not like it's a chore, because you know I do enjoy it, because it's, it's my own choice to do it. You just want me to get ready then? Just basically get ready, yeah. When do I have to start putting things inside my arse? <laughs> mm. Why do people tend to call you Ben more or Lucinda? More like Pant. It's more of the, the name I get called. Um, I don't, um... Most people just call me Ben. Well, it depends on whether I know people. If they're the people I don't know, it's normally mate. Because they're straight bastards. No offence. God. Yeah. They... Well, I don't know, it's hard for people because they know me quite well now. If they know you quite well, they're just used to calling you Ben. But, um... If they don't know you so well, and they're rude, they call you whatever they like. I always get the last word in, though. Eight years. On and off. Three years professionally. I started off doing um, karaoke but as a, the basis of what I do, and now I do shows all over the place. I just auditioned for Britain's Got Talent today. I'm online, so hopefully you'll see me on the telly. That'd be nice. If not, it's going to have to be Paul. Tranny porn. You find this fascinating? What well, first made you want to do it then? Did someone suggest you should do it? Or just thought, hell, why, why the hell not? I used to work for Haven as a male vocalist and I used to sing like a guy. And then I bought a stolen car from my sister. And, um,. The police came and take it, took it back, so I couldn't go back to Haven. So I started doing chefing, and then I became gay. And um, the manager of the gay bar heard me at karaoke and said, well, let me try doing drag. So I entered an amateur cabaret competition. I didn't win it. <laughs> but I ended up doing it all the time. I'll probably stand here and get egged in a minute by someone live on the fucking film. Be <laughs> lovely. Anyone wanna fuck? <laughs> Anyone wanna fuck? <laughs> Because if I said yes, you'd be like, hello. Hello. Hey, alright, love. Okay. Right. Are you alright? Do you want a shag? 